Hello there, this is Lynn Allen, and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks session courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I'm so glad that you joined me today. Today we're going to talk about hatching. Almost all applications have at least a little bit of hatching in them. So let me just show you some tips about hatching that came out inside of AutoCAD 2011. All right, so I'm hoping that you're at least on AutoCAD 2011. So to start with, let's go into the hatch command. All right, I'm going to be a good girl. I'm going to grab it from the ribbon. And you'll see that when I go into the hatch command that the ribbon automatically changes, right, to give you all the options that used to be in the dialog box are now, of course, on the ribbon, which is why I'm hoping you're using the ribbon. <laughs> so also new is that it immediately asks you for an internal point, right? So inside of 2011 and higher. So if I move my cursor around, you'll see that right off the bat, it's showing me the results of my hatch, which I love. All right, so. I actually want to use a different pattern, so I'm going to drop this list down. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select a completely different pattern. Let's go to something that looks a little bit like, I'm going to make a chain link fence. So something that looks a little bit, how about this guy right here? If we rotate it, it will look a little bit like a fence. And I happen to know that that scale factor is a little bit too small, so let's make that bigger. And now let's see what it looks like. I just love the fact that you get a preview, right? So I can tell if I'm on the right track or not. Now, I, want, I really don't want to hatch on that particular layer, so I am going to use a really cool feature that came out inside of AutoCAD 2011. I'm going to switch the layer just for hatching. I'm not going to switch the current layer. I'm going to tell AutoCAD that I have a layer that I specifically want to hatch on. You can change this as many times as you want. All right, so I'm going to drag this down here, and I want it to go on the fence layer. All right, so that means the next time I go into hatching, it's going to by default want to put my hatch pattern on the fence layer. You don't have to change your current layer. Pretty awesome, All right? And let's go ahead and change the angle because I told you it was, you know, squared off. We want it to be kind of a, maybe like a 45 degree angle. And let's see what it looks like now. If I move my cursor down here, you'll see that it's a different color because it's on the fence layer. And you'll also see that it's at a 45 degree angle. All right, perfect. Let me go ahead and select inside of this area. That's the area I want to hatch. And really, I don't want to make any other changes. So I'll go ahead and hit an extra enter and poof, there's my fence, All right? Looks pretty good. Now, also another nice feature that was added a few releases ago is the ability to make changes very easily just by selecting that hatch pattern. And the centroid shows up just because it makes me cool when I say the word centroid. I know you're thinking I'm outrageously cool. <laughs> So these are the things that I can do, right? I can maybe change the hatch angle on the fly. Whee! Anywhere I want it to go. I can change the hatch scale. I can make it much larger if I want to. But the, the part that I like the best really is the ability to change the origin point super fast and super easy. I can come down here. I really wish the origin point was in this lower left-hand corner and it changes the hatching accordingly. Also very, very cool, right? All right, but wait there's more <laughs> let me go ahead and exit out of there let's pick a bit this bigger hatch over here i'm going to go ahead and select that bad shot i'm going to go ahead and select that hatch pattern right there and another feature that i want to show you is the ability to add in a background color for your hatching let me just sit here so you can see that the tooltip you'll see it says background color so we have the the color of the layer that it's on right the layer that the hatching is on but i want to put a color in the background all right so these are supposed to be bricks so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop this list down and i'm going to go pick a color that looks a little bit like a brick i don't know which one this one this one how about that one that kind of looks like a brick i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to say okay and hit an escape so I can really see what's going on. And you can see it's almost like the hatching is layered, right? In the background, it has that brick color. And in the front, it has the, the color layer that the hatching happens to be on. Very, very cool. All right. So I showed you a few tips there. I showed you how to specifically select a layer for hatching. I showed you how to use the centroid. Uh, my favorite part is to easily and quickly change the uh, origin point, right? Pretty cool. And I showed you how to add in a background color for your hatching. All right. Now it's your turn. Now you go try it. All right. And I hope that you have a great rest of the week. And I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you so much for joining me.